Have you got a question? Yeah, you got a question. Go, Go on. <laughs> Is this a question? Go on, Mansour. Give him a question. Go on, Mansour. Repeat the question, Bob Sila. <laughs> okay. What was the question about okay. Sila? Okay. So, here's an example yeah. of how Muslims try to distort the Bible. Okay, okay. The question was, yeah. if we Christians believe in one God, yeah. how is it that we can say that the Holy Spirit does not speak of his own accord, but uh. speaks the words of another? Quoting John chapter 16. Now these two questions are not related. The belief in one God is not a question about the belief in the persons of God. We Christians believe in only one God. God one in essence. We believe that the Trinity is Father, Son and Holy Spirit and that these Father, Son and Holy Spirit have one will and one purpose and that the Holy Spirit speaks the words of the Father. This does not mean that the Holy Spirit is another God. It means that the Holy Spirit is another person. That is what that scripture means. Right. Because if Mansour, who asked me the question on the microphone, would have bothered to read the Bible, he would have understood that the Bible is absolutely clear. There is only one God, only one God should be worshipped, and there is no other God. So let me ask Mansour a question. Ask him. Mansour, I want to ask you a question. Can you show me in the Bible where it says I where it says I believe in three gods? Can Mansour show me a verse? That's a fair yeah, that's a fair question. Or even a collection of verses. I'm here. You won't fight it. You won't fight it. We're gonna stay here until Christmas. It'll take time for a relay. I think this is the first time this has been done in the park. Yeah. I'm actually having a debate with someone remotely. Ah, okay, okay. No, actually Mansour's not. probably sat in a nice warm room drinking a coffee <laughs> while I'm freezing. <laughs> no, no, not that Mansour. This is a different Mansour. It is a different Mansour, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, the, I think the one, Mansour, the one, the one, well, one I think, he was telling me because about uh, the, you know, because Jesus said that in Matthew chapter 90 that... Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Mansour, has Mansour got a verse? Uh, to show me we believe in three gods. Yeah, yeah. Show us. Let, 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 I, I, just, I want to demonstrate that Muslims make claims that they can't prove. Show me where I as a Christian and in the Bible. Show me. That's fair. That's fair. I think this is a first. We're doing a remote debate. I'm speaking to someone in Afghanistan. Right. Is that Mansour's words? So Mansour has said, I believe in one God who is three persons. That's fine. Right. So has he got a verse that shows that I should believe in three gods? Yeah. Show us. Mansour, come on, Mansour. Show us. Mansour, we're waiting. I'll get my Bible out. And by the way, I, I like this. This is nice. You being <laughs> calm is nice. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't disrespect, I'm calm. Has Mansour found a verse? Come on, he's got Google, man. What's taking him so long? Yeah, hurry up, hurry up, Mansour. Come on, Mansour. Show me a verse that says I should believe in three gods yeah. from the Bible. Change your script. Yeah, that's a fair comment, JC. If Muslims can't back up their claims, 
They need to change their script. Muslims make the claim we believe in three gods and can't prove it. Have we got have we got a verse yet? He's trying to say bring out the verse. That's what he's trying to say. Oh, I think Mansour has finally understood we're asking him for a verse. Ah. He's trying to say, find a verse where he says... Yeah. Show me where I'm supposed to believe in three gods in this book. Show us. Do you believe in God? Yes. So has Mansour so got Jesus. a verse? Uh, no, no, no. One no, second. No, no, no. no, no. I've, uh, you just, just relay Mansour's words. Can he give me a verse in the Bible that says I believe in three gods? Mansour, be a man and just admit you can't, mate. I think Mansour's left the bro hanging. Ah, no, that's not nice, Mansour. Come on, Mansour, be a man. Either nice, admit Mansour. you can't find the verse or take back what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Just man up, bro. Very easy. There is no sincerity in the answer. Can any Muslim show me where I believe in three gods from the Bible? No, he believe that um, the Holy Spirit is God. So, so, wait, no, one second. I've asked, I've answered Mansour's question. I've asked Mansour a question. Can Mansour, can Mansour show me a verse in the Bible yeah. that says I believe in three gods? You didn't yes. Answer the question. So is that a no? You did not is Mansour saying no? You did not answer the question. This is what you do. Uh, okay. He's dancing. He's dancing. He is dancing. <laughs> Mansour, have you got a verse? Yes or no? You didn't answer so the question. Answer okay. The question. So Mansour is avoiding the question. Uh, yeah. Uh, the f I, and this is the point, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We Christians need to know our faith better. Because if we don't know our faith better, well, the reality is people will lie about our faith. And the reality is, as we've just seen, Mansour attempted to lie about our faith. So, has Mansour got a verse that shows me in the Bible that I believe in three gods? Because I don't. Because the Bible doesn't teach that. Have you got a verse? Show us. Show us. If you make a claim yeah. about Christianity, yeah. it is on you to prove it. That's right. If you can't prove it, yeah. then you should have the humility to I accept know, that you don't know what you're talking about. Right, right. Okay, he's going to give me a verse. Yeah. Right. On, I think I honestly think this is a first. I'm actually debating with someone remotely. Yeah, because he's in another country. I'm actually right. debating with someone from Afghanistan <laughs> remotely. <laughs> Go on, Mansour. Show me the verse. Go on, Mansour. Afghanistan. Wait, so uh, hold on one second. Before we go, who am I I'm talking? I'm, right. I've just had someone say that an imam now wants to debate me, right? Ah, go on. But the point is. No, Amen. No, Amen. 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 Wait. Amen. 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 Wait. Before I debate Amen, and I will, I want Mansoor to either show me a verse that I believe in three gods Yo, or to take uh, back the claim. Can yeah, you show me, yeah, that's right, that's Mansoor? Fair. That's fair. Mansour, right, what verse? Mansour, what verse? Uh, Mansoor, what is the verse? <laughs> no, no, Mansoor. Mansoor, you it's said that you were going to give me a verse. He's not giving me a verse, guys. He's giving me a lecture. He's just repeating his claim with no evidence. Ah. Mansour... Oh, come on, right. I haven't got battery life, battery life. Okay. So Mansour has made a claim. Yeah. He says, he says yeah. that I definitely believe in three gods. Okay. Well, now prove it, Mansour. Don't just make a claim about Christianity. And this is the problem in our culture, is that lots of people are willing to make very ignorant claims about Christianity, but when we challenge them for proof, they don't have any. Mansour, try again. Don't give me a lecture. You've stated that I believe in three gods. You said your words. I'll quote what he said on the speaker. He said, you definitely believe in three equal gods. Now show me a verse that teaches that. So what's the verse, Mansour? That's it. So you believe? What's the verse? Is he going to give me a verse? You're aiming, you got the verse. Go on, go on, David. I don't want another lecture. I don't want another claim. I don't want another statement of what you believe about my faith. I want an evidence about what you believe about my faith. Amen's got the verse. He's got a verse. We're going to see a verse that says Christians believe in three gods. Go on, Amen. What's the verse? Go on. Go on, my son. 
Eamon, I'm asking for the verse. Not a lecture about what you believe, but the verse. Yes, we do. Now answer the question. What, sorry? Wait, which one? Okay, let's go to Ephesians 1.17. We finally got a verse. Let's have a look at it. Okay. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. I'm going to read the verse. And listen, guys. Apparently, our friends from abroad, who I'm debating with remotely, I'm quite impressed by this, and thank you very much for this, have claimed that the verse that I'm going to read shows that we Christians believe in three gods. Ah, three gods. That's what you're going to hear. Ah, Ephesians oh, yes. 1 17. This is what verse 117 read it, read says. It, read it. Listen. Okay. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. Did anyone hear a statement that said, I believe in three gods? No. So, that didn't do it. So, so, now he's asked the question and I'm going to reply. Bro, if you keep speaking into my ear, I'm just going to take the earphones off. Okay. They're just talking into my ear. They're not listening to what I've got to say. So the question was, how can God have a God. Ah, okay, okay. And this is the traditional lie that Muslims say about the Christian faith. It's the Dawah script. We Christians in the park know this script. And what it is based upon is a misunderstanding of what Christians believe. Christians believe that the Divine Son becomes a human being. Now the Divine Son, who is God, and eternally with the Father is not going to become an atheist when he becomes a human being, is he? Exactly. He had a relationship with his Father before he entered into creation and he continues to do so at the incarnation. Christian belief in one God is based upon the category seems that they're running away. It's based upon the category of one what, that there is a category of what God is, and in that category of what God is, there is a unique genus that belongs only to the divine. The Trinity says that that one genus is shared fully and completely without division in three who's. So these are separate categories, the what and the who. And the who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'll give you an example you can all understand. Right now you're all stood in three-dimensional space. You have the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. These dimensions are distinct, but identical. And you experience them as one. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are distinct from one another, but they have all the same properties and you experience them as one. And it seems that the interlocutors are now just mocking. So, I'll challenge them again. I'll challenge them again. Show me the verse in the Bible that says we Christians believe in three gods. If you can't show me, accept that you're lying about Christianity. Go on, Amon. Try again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, you know for a fact yeah, the Trinity is not in a Bible. The Trinity is not in the Bible, but you still believe in the Trinity. Okay, so let me respond to that point. Let me respond to that point. He said that I know that the Trinity is not in the Bible. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you why I know. I know that the Trinity is in the Bible. We see it in the Old Testament where Yahweh speaks to Yahweh and says, send down fire. We know the Trinity is in the Old Testament where Yahweh speaks to Yahweh. We know 
that the Trinity is in the New Testament. Notice, notice the rudeness. Yes, notice the rudeness. Notice the rudeness. We know that the Trinity is in the Bible because the Father is identified as the God of the Old Testament. The Son is identified as the God of the Old Testament. Right. The Holy Spirit exactly. is identified as the God of the Old Testament right. Right. and the Old Testament is clear. Yeah. There is only one God and there isn't another God. Therefore, we have to conclude That's since good. there is only one God yeah. and Father, Son and Holy Spirit uh, are so called that God, that that means that they are the same God. Jesus. Prove that I believe. God. Hold on, how sick you are. Okay. You believe Jesus is God. Yes. And <laughs> so notice the arrogance and the ignorance. Okay. He's telling me what I believe. Ah. Not asking oh, me what I God. believe. Ah. He's God. telling me what I believe. Let's count them. Let's count them. Is Jesus God? Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. No, no. Do you believe Jesus is God? I've yes just no? answered that. Carry on. Do you believe Jesus is God? Yes or no? Jesus is Do the God of the Old Testament. Do you believe Jesus is God? Yes, yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay, that's one. Yes, one so God. the Father? The Father is the same God. The Father is the same God? Yes. So you're telling me... That the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are the same God. I just want to make this uh, clear. Because yes. It sounds sick because it sounds like incest. So you say Jesus, Jesus sounds came like out, incest. Says, Hold on, mm -hmm. Jesus came out of a woman. What's right? that got to do? What has that got to do with the Trinity? Listen, this is not the Trinity because it's oh, it's not the Trinity. Right? So we're changing the subject. That Jesus is God and God uh, slept with his mother. So, ladies and gentlemen, the question is: Are we Christians saying? That God slept with his own mother. No! There's your answer. There is a difference. There is a difference between honest inquiry about what Christians believe and dishonest polemics against Christianity. And what? Well, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. What we just saw was an example oh. of insincere, yeah. dishonest no, polemics yeah. against the Christian faith. The claim that we Christians Speaking believe that God had sex it's with blasphemy. Mary is blasphemy, blasphemy. in the blasphemy. Christian blasphemy. faith. It is, it is. They are lying to themselves yeah. Yeah. about Christianity because they can't criticize Christianity. So they have to invent a straw man to attack about Christianity. Let me tell you what we believe. Let me tell you what we believe. Let me tell you what we believe, Amon. Let me tell you what we believe, Mansour. We believe that God by his divine power took to himself a human nature that he created from the flesh of Mary. Amen. In doing this, he joined it to himself in the person of Christ. He did not change his divinity. He did not confuse his divinity with the humanity. And he did not mingle his divinity with the humanity. We Christians have taught this for 2,000 years. And yet, and yet, the Muslims would rather listen to the lies about the Christian faith than just deal with the honest answer that we Christians give about the Christian faith. What's your next question, Amon? Read John 20, 17. Okay, we're going to read John 20, 17. Are we back to Amon and Mansour again? No, someone else. Oh, it's a different person. Where, where's this person from? Canada. Canada. So it's Canada this time. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I, I'm all right, thank you. You? Oh, yeah. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> what does he command? I'm, I'm waiting, bro. 
Um, apparently, you've got to show me the camera. You've got to show me something on camera. All right. Are you, are you the camera? Yeah. Go on. That's that's clearly that's clearly what it says. He's talking to Jesus. Yes, to Jesus. No, he says it to Jesus. He says a personal possessive to Jesus. I'm sorry, bro. You, you. I'm sorry. Literally, literally, the Greek means the God that I possess. You don't know the Greek. You don't know the Greek. The Greek grammar, the Greek grammar, the Greek grammar means that it's a personal possessive. No, no, no! Don't jump around. 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 So. Let's be clear, let's be clear. The, the scriptures are clear. When Thomas says, my Lord and my God, he is stating that to Jesus Christ and he is possessing Jesus Christ as his Lord. You can disagree, but you're arguing with Greek grammar. I'm afraid if you try to argue with Greek grammar, you're just demonstrating your ignorance and your arrogance, bro. Yes. No, you're doing. You're taking the words out of the context. You're, you're taking the words out of the context. No, you're taking it out of its context. My name's not Paul. <laughs> Who's the little kid? Was he talking? Yeah. Right. So we're jumping. We're jump. So yes. So you. So you, so he's jumping around verses does not help your case. This is the trick of Jehovah. Yeah, you are. One second. 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 Thomas. Thomas states to Jesus, my Lord and my God. That is a very clear statement. And in the the verse. And in the verse that. And in the verse that comes after that, no, you didn't explain it. You distorted it. In the ne very next verse, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus affirms the belief of Thomas. What was that affirmation? What was the belief of Thomas? That Jesus is the Lord and God of Thomas. No, you are simply trying to, you're, you're simply, you're simply, you're, 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 in, you're reading into the passage something that's not there. That you're reading into the passage something that's not there. And you're right. Hold on. I do want to agree with you on one thing. I do want to wait. I do want to agree with you on one thing. I'll, I'll agree with the brother on one thing, which is that the Bible does make a distinction between the Father and the Son. And Christians believe that. And that's why we can see verses that distinguish between Father and Son. But an honest reading of the Bible, and I don't expect that from any Dai. But if you're watching this on TikTok, maybe you will be more sincere than the Dai. The reality is that an honest reading of the New Testament identifies the Father as the God of the Old Testament, the Son as the God of the Old Testament, and the Holy Spirit as the God of the Old Testament. So, I hope that answered. Oh, but, no, no, I, bro, I'm, I'm going, literally, I'm going, I'm literally going. Like, well, like, go on. I, I, I'll be charitable. I'll give you one more <laughs> round. One more round. Go on. Go on. No, I don't. Yes, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Simply. Yes. Yes. That's not in the scripture. That's what you're saying. Can you show me where? Can you show? Can you show me where it says that in the? Can you show me where it says that in the passage of Thomas, where 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 the Bible, not you, not some TikTok wannabe dai, but where the Bible actually says Thomas goes, my Lord, my my Lord and my God. 
the, the thing is, you're literally make you're you're literally making things up. You're making things up, bro. I'm not, bro, bro. No one's, no one's, no one's, no one's being personal. Like it, it's, it's simply sure. you are making things up. You're stating that the Bible says that Thomas goes, my Lord to Jesus and my God to heaven. But nothing in that scripture that we're talking about in John chapter 20 says that. The entirety of the statement, according to the text, according to the text, the entirety of the statement is said to Jesus because St. Thomas says to him, to him is what the Bible says. Who's the him? I want you to answer that question. In John chapter 20, who's the him? Who's the him? Who's the him? There's a singular him. There's a singular him. Who's the him? Identify the him. Go on. Yeah, I, 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 yeah I've, heard the, I've heard that. Yeah, I know the verse on the top of my head, bro. Yeah. Who's the, my question to you, my question to you is, who is the him? Answer that question. No, don't avoid the question. Answer the question. You're avoiding the question. I'll ask you again. The question is, the question is, no, answer the question. Stop avoiding it. In that text, in that text, uh, that in that text, who is identified as the him in that text? Everyone can see that you're not answering the question. I'll ask you again. Thomas says to him, who is the him? Who is the him? Answer the question. Ah, he won't answer it. That, so, so are you... Right, answer the question. Who is the him? Who is identified as the him in that statement? This is not for university. The guy is lying. He's uh, educated. Right, answer the question. Who's the him? Right, yeah, go on. And people will see if you answer the... Oh, no, no, no. No, don't answer a question with a question. Answer the question. Who is the him in that statement? Answer the question. What is sad is that you're running away from the question. Answer the question. Who is the him in that statement? Answer the question. Answer the question. Who is the him? Who is the him? Answer the question. Stop avoiding the question. Who is the him in that statement? Okay, he's, he's having a conversation with someone else. Right. So basically, we, we, we had a Muslim, I don't even know if this was filming. We had a, a Muslim speaking from Canada who was um, saying that in John chapter 20, Say Captain Patel. when, 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 Say Captain Patel. okay. So in John chapter 20, that we have a, a Muslim claiming that Jesus says, my Lord and my God. And when he says, my Lord, he's looking at Jesus. And when he says, my God, he's looking to heaven. Firstly, there's nothing in the text to suggest that. But secondly, it's actually the distortion of the text. Read the verse carefully. Thomas says to him, who is the him in that context? The him is Jesus Christ. And he says both clauses of the statement to him, Jesus Christ, my Lord and my God. So sadly, Muslims, your da'i are lying to you and they are doing semantics.